Well, Sal, happy new year. Hope you had a great Christmas and some good news for our horsemen coming out of the governor's office. Tell us about it. First of all, happy new year and Merry Christmas to you. Uh, and uh, just wanted to tell all of our uh, horsemen that the mitigation uh, order that was put in by the governor, uh, closing the casinos and indoor dining at the restaurants, uh, but still allowing horsemen to uh, continue to race will end at 8 a.m. on January 4th, 2021, folks. 2020 will be over. So I wanted to let you know that. I think that's really good news. We can go back to getting uh, uh, getting monies from the casinos, and that's very important to us. Um, I, we go back to the old rules before this, this mitigation report, so that affects the rules about people being able to go inside and, and owners and and people uh, being able to uh, go into the winners owners being able to go in the winner's circles will all uh, apply again. So there's no, no, it's not total open situation, but it's back to the old rules before the mitigation uh, rules were put in. So that'll start again to repeat on January 4th at 8 a.m. Um, I also uh, want to uh, on behalf of myself, Mike Belezzi, our board, and our uh, staff, thank all of our horsemen for their support and patience during this past year. We've had some ups and downs and some tough times, but I really want to thank them for uh, staying behind the, Mike and I and the board and our staff during this year. So I uh, wanted to do that. I also want to, again, acknowledge the fact that Keith Jones made his last call yesterday in the 10th race. The winner was Unbridled Adventure, which I think was very appropriate because his 34 years here have certainly been an unbridled adventure. And his new life in Texas will also probably be the next unbridled adventure. So in that regard, we thank you again, Keith, and, and wish you great luck. I also want to take this time at the end of the year to thank you, Bruce for your support, professionalism, and enthusiasm, enthusiasm about our industry and everything you, you've done during these tough times uh, to help us through this. So I wanted to thank you personally on behalf of Mike and the board and our staff. Um, I wanna wish everyone a, a healthy and happier 2021. And uh, I wanna close by, as Keith Jones would say, good night. <laughs>